Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm coming to you with another video in my Photoshop series. We're going to be talking about removing objects. I know this might seem like a big jump from the last one, but I feel like this is a really fun effect and it's actually pretty easy to accomplish and it gives you something that you know you can smile at because you just removed an object from a picture and maybe made something look funny. So let's get started with this. We're going to use a couple different tools and we're going to mainly focus on this, these healing tools right here and then the stamp tool right here. So what we can do with all of these is the first one is the easiest and that's the spot healing brush tool. This one is really easy because all you have to do is literally select the object you want to remove and it'll try to do it for you. So for example, this buoy is a perfect example of something we might want to remove. Maybe we want this whole water here to look clean. So we can actually just click on it and it's gone. That's how easy it is. We can do the exact same thing over here. Um, clean it up right there. And now we've just removed those two quote unquote imperfections down here and we've made this sort of feel a little bit cleaner. If you want to make this bigger or smaller, go ahead and right click and this works for most of the tools over here. You can right click and you can adjust all of this stuff right here. So if we wanted to make a really big one, we can do that. Um, we can just drag it up and like, you know, try to remove the cloud or something. I don't know if this will actually work, but we can give it a shot. It might take a second. It kind of worked, except that it put the sky up there. Let's see if we can't just do that. And there we go. Now there's no more, it's not a cloudy day anymore. Uh, really fun to use. You can do some really fun stuff with it, but be careful. You can't like remove a mountain or something because it doesn't have really a lot of pixels. So you're going to get this weird like blending of stuff. Like if I try to move the ship, you're going to get this. Yeah, it's not going to come out good. So it's for removing small objects and it's very good at doing just that. Uh, let's go back into the future. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, right there. Okay. So the next tool is the healing brush tool. The healing brush tool is very similar to the spot healing, except you define your own area. So instead of it doing all the work for you, you can say, no, I want you to replace the sky with stuff from right here. So you can go up here and it's going to repaint the, the, um, the C down here on it because it just, you see that little, the cross down there at the bottom, right down here, look right here. Um, it's doing exactly that is it's just taking everything from down there and it's bringing it up. So this is actually kind of cool because you can add your own little fun little effects to the top and you know you can paint on stuff. So if you don't want it doing it for you, that's what this tool is all about. And so now we have this, we have a nice um, sky in here. We can just control Z this backwards. The next tools we have down here is the content aware move tool. So what we can actually do here is we can select something and we can try to move it like right here and it's going to try to make the left one disappear and move the new one over here. So we just kind of move this pole over a little bit and you can see that it actually looks pretty good. It used to be here and now it's over here so it's going to remove it. It's going to then patch it up and then it's going to just cut it and paste it into the new location. The next tool that you can use, and this is if you want to be a little bit more manual, is the clone stamp tool. So for example, we want to make this just a little bit bigger right here you can see that what we do is we're going to um, create a source. So if I hold the Alt key here, we can find a source. So let's say we want this sky to be what we're replacing. Um, so when we move right here, you can see that it's going to be moving this over. And now I can actually do some really fun things. I can like paint these mountains in the way that I want them to be painted. So if I wanted like sort of a big, let's go up here, let's, a big crater to have formed back here. I can do just that. And let's, you know, you can round it off and make it look a little more realistic. And now that actually looks like a landscape it might actually look like. We can, you know, make it look really extreme. And then really the key here is just understanding how this might actually form. And then just keep readjusting your, um, your source so that it's in the right place to create what you want to create here. And now we've kind of like, round this off to something that could actually be if you just keep rounding it down a little bit yeah this is something that might actually be a mountain range um, you can you know of course do this anywhere you want we can adjust this mountain range back here but really what this is all about is it's you selecting a certain area and then painting over that area with this tool really great for manipulating things but notice that even slight color changes are noticeable so see how it's slightly darker up here you can see that it's very light up here and that's why it doesn't work over here because it's all the same color it works out nicely um, it usually works with like really complex patterns too so if I go like here I can usually go pretty well up here because water kind of blends well with water 
that is it really on the clone stamp tool. Um, and that is really, uh, the patch tool also does sort of uh, work. What you can do with this is you can actually patch an area. So for example, if I want this, I can select it and you'll see that's highlighted. And then if I drag it down to an area that looks similar, I can go ahead and click on that and click um, deselect so we can see it. And you see that it's doing the exact same thing except we're choosing what we want it to patch with. So you just select an area and then you can drag it into what you want. So you say, you know, I want it to replicate this right here. You can click enter and it does just that, which usually works good with complex patterns as well. That is basically it on this tutorial. Again, something sort of basic and simple, but something that's really, really fun and you learned you know, a good deal of the tools over here in Photoshop. Thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial. If you got any comments or suggestions, those in the comment section below. If you wanna see more videos similar to this one, I make a video every other day. Hit that subscribe button. I'd love to see you guys coming back and you know, uh, if you, you know, ask questions and stuff like that so I can create more videos for you. Uh, yeah, so until next time guys, see ya.